You can't say nothing to me. You can't say nothing to me, you know what I mean? Unless you see about who, who, who touch him on them. And then... Kodak was one of the fastest rising rappers a few years ago. His songs were topping the chart, and every music magazine was calling him the rapper to watch out for. Everything was going great for him until his crimes got out of hand, and he got sentenced to four years in prison. He has been getting into trouble since he was a preteen, and today we'll take a look at all those 10 times when Kodak Black went too far. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video if you also believe Kodak Black could go far ahead in his career if he stopped getting into trouble all the time. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find out and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 10. Auto Theft Kodak was just in middle school when he got introduced to the world of crime and drugs. When he was arrested for the first time, it was on auto theft charges. He had stolen a car with some friends, but got caught. For this act, he was even expelled from the school. Sadly, this was just the beginning of a long list of crimes Kodak was about to commit. Instead of learning from his mistakes, he spiraled even more out of control. He was lucky to even get out in the first place as he was a minor, but that didn't deter him from going down a more dangerous path. Number 9. Multiple Trips to Youth Detention Center Since his first arrest in middle school, Kodak didn't leave the wrong crowd. Throughout his teens, he kept going inside and out of detention centers. When he was 17, some producers spotted the talent in him and got him out on bail. But even after becoming a star, he wasn't about to change his devious ways. Number 8. Beaten a Girl In 2016, while Black was tasting success with hits like Skirt, he was also facing sexual harassment and battery charges for hitting a woman he allegedly hooked up with. For the next two years, the case kept on going, and Black said this was just to mint money out of him. Then, in 2018, another woman came forward and filed a case against him. She was a bartender who recognized that Kodak was the one who kicked her. By going out, he had also violated house arrest terms, and that resulted in him getting arrested. He then got out on a $100,000 bond bail. Around this time, Kodak had made a name for himself, and even his court appearances were being covered by the media. Number 7. Child Negligence For the most troubled personalities, their redemption arc is often their families. They could have been in trouble out on the street, but then they treat their families well, which makes fans think that they might just be misunderstood. For Kodak, even that isn't an option. In one of his Instagram live sessions, he was flaunting his guns and drugs while his child was present. The video made its way to the authorities, who then inspected it and then booked him on various charges. Kodak then later tried to get out of his trouble by saying there were no drugs present and the guns didn't belong to him, but the police didn't believe him. Number 6. Firearm Smuggling In 2019, Kodak was arrested at the Canadian border in Niagara County for having guns and drugs in his possession. He initially told police that it was his licensed gun, and he had complete papers to prove it. But then the police found out later that he had lied to get the gun, and there was false information in the documents. For this crime, he went to prison for 360 days. He was then released on a bond for $40,000. After this, the officials warned him that he need to stop bringing firearms everywhere with him. He sadly decided to neglect their warning and was arrested before his concert in Miami. This time, he didn't get out easy. The FBI was on to him and they made sure he couldn't get out of a trial. He was in the FBI's custody and eventually took a plea bargain which had him getting sentenced for four years. Number 5. Misbehavior with the Therapist In 2017, Kodak was under house arrest after he was bailed by his producers. Since he had been getting in trouble for a long time, the judge made counseling sessions mandatory for him. Kodak didn't like this idea and wasted another opportunity of getting on the good side. They were group sessions where one therapist was helping a bunch of people. Kodak only created a riot in all these sessions. He kept on burping whenever he was asked anything by the therapist Ramona Sanchez. After annoying her with burping, Kodak even got physically violent with her. After seeing his dangerous attitude, she tried to call 911, but then Black hit her and even broke her phone. After this, Ramona told the court that she is unable to help him 
and suggested one-on-one counseling for him as he disturbed others in the group once. For assaulting Ramona and breaking violations, Kodak was looking at an eight-year sentence. Number four, feud with a prison guard. When Kodak went on Instagram Live in 2020, he gave all the details about his life behind bars. He took the name of two guards, Lieutenant F. Arroyo and Santiago Torres, and alleged that they had tortured him. He said Arroyo had beaten him, berated him, and often even inappropriately touched him, only to mock him. And for Torres, he said that she didn't physically hit him, but definitely misused her power, especially when it came to giving him medical attention. Kodak recalled that he was not given medical care for many days, and it was all just to torture him. When the guards were asked about their behavior, they said that Kodak was an extremely difficult prisoner, and now he was just acting like a victim to gain sympathy. They denied giving him any harsh treatment, and whatever they did, the guards said it was as a result of his own instigations. Number three, brawl in prison. When Kodak was in prison, he was also raising hell to annoy the authorities. He started fights with fellow mates, and whenever they used to retaliate, his strategy was to ask for relocation. He tried many times to move to low-security prison, as he thought he was an easy victim in prison, especially due to his celebrity status. For his behavior, he was often sent to solitary confinement, but every time he was back, he started acting the same way again. Number two, filing for clemency. One of Trump's last acts as president was to give clemency to 73 prisoners. Among those 73 were two rappers. One was Lil Wayne, and the other was Kodak Black. Kodak had written many times to Trump about getting him out of there. He even used the whole prison guard torturing him situation to sue them and get out of there. When he was granted clemency, many people were livid with him. People were enraged, as there are so many innocent people who live their life behind bars but never get a fair chance to get out of there. Kodak was arrested for things he had actually committed, whether it was possession of guns and drugs or him assaulting and beating women. According to many, he didn't deserve a chance. And once again, Trump was criticized for his decisions. Number one, instigated fans. When Kodak was in prison, he asked fans to trend the hashtag free Kodak, as he has many young impressionable fans who, without thinking it through, started attacking the police department on Twitter and were constantly using this hashtag. His crimes were extremely serious in nature, which is why the authorities didn't react much to the outburst of his fans. But his move was disliked by many. He tried to manipulate teenagers and was asking them to create mayhem without showing any signs of improvement. And with this, we have come to the very end of this video. If you know anything else about Kodak that you'd like to share with us, please write a comment below. Also, let us know what you thought about this video below. Don't forget to leave a like, and if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.